Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to take a look at yet another set of five Mac apps worth checking out for August 2019. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Golden Chaos BTT is our first app, and the BTT stands for Better Touch Tool, which is the app that you'll actually need in order for Golden Chaos to work. Now we've covered Better Touch Tool in a previous video, and you can click on the card in the upper right hand corner to learn more about that specific app. But if you are already a Better Touch Tool user and have a MacBook with Touch Bar, you're gonna want to download Golden Chaos. This app completely replaces the interface of your touch bar, giving you tons of various options to choose from in order to really get the most out of your touch bar. There are window snapping options, weather widgets, dock badges, and if you really dive deep into Golden Chaos inside of Better Touch Tool, you can find loads more options like custom Spotify buttons for liking or disliking songs, connecting to your AirPods quickly, etc. Better Touch Tool is a pretty incredible app on its own for customizing all sorts of settings for your Mac's keyboard, mouse, and touch bar, and the Golden Chaos add-on app takes things one step further. Better Touch Tool is $750, but Golden Chaos is a free add-on, so I highly recommend checking them both out. Mac Updater is an extremely simple app that helps us do things that we don't always want to do with our apps update them. More specifically, update the ones that you download outside of the App Store, which can easily be disregarded and not updated for long periods of time. Mac Updater easily finds all of your applications that need to be updated and it updates them automatically for you, sometimes without having to open the application that you're updating at all. Some apps do, however, require additional installation steps, and so Mac Updater will facilitate that for you. The app is a free trial for up to 10 applications, but then after that limit, there is a one-time purchase of $9.99, but I highly recommend it in order to help keep your system up to date at all times. Moom is app number three on the list, and it's a pretty similar concept to the few other window management apps that we've checked out before, but I think this app is a little bit more simple than some of the others. Moom allows users to quickly move and resize application windows by simply hovering over the green full screen button and then selecting your location that you'd like to move and resize the app to. There's also a custom box option that allows you to draw out how big and where you'd want that app to go. Moom also offers a custom keyboard shortcut that can let you achieve pretty much the same core functionality of the app, but without your mouse if you can't access it at the moment. There are custom controls available for all of the moving, zooming, and other various window management tasks that you might want. You can find Moom in the App Store for a one-time purchase of $9.99. Now this next app is probably my favorite of the bunch because it has one feature that I think is an absolute game changer in my opinion. The app is called Background Music and bonus, it's a free application. The app lives in your menu bar and you can adjust your volume levels on a per application basis. And you can also easily record system audio too. But the game changing feature that I think is really cool is the auto pause your music player when other audio begins playing. So for example, I can't tell you how often I listen to music and then maybe click on a link and forget that a video is gonna automatically start playing. And so I have to rush back and find the music player and turn that off and then go back to the video and it just becomes kind of annoying. Well, with background music, all I have to do is open up the video and once it starts playing, the app actually automatically controls Spotify for me and stops playing the music. If I stop playing the video, then the music will automatically resume. Love this feature and I love that it's a free app, so why not give it a shot? Finally, our last app also lives inside of the menu bar and it's a very simple app called Easy Finder. The app basically separates folders or files that you access frequently inside of three categories, personal, work, and other. And so if you have a folder called screenshots, for example, that you interact with on a daily basis, maybe it's a spot that you wanna throw all your important screenshots in and you don't want it cluttering up your desktop, you can simply select that folder in as little as two clicks or use the keyboard shortcuts for even faster access. You can throw various files in there as well, and I love using this for when I back up my final edits to my NAS. It requires quite a few clicks to go through all of my nested folders, but Easy Finder, it lives up to the name and it gets me to that folder quickly. So that's been our five apps worth checking out for the month of August 2019. Of course, please let us know in the comment section down below which app you think is worth checking out, and maybe we'll feature it in the next video so that others can see what you recommend. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.